Hey, this is Joel with Verses, a nonprofit committed to setting scripture to song and helping you hide God's word in your heart. If you stick around to the end of Guided Scripture today, you're going to hear a song that we wrote and recorded for this particular passage. We hope it helps you memorize and meditate on it. The verse of the day today is 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4, which says this, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. In a love-obsessed world, if you ask 10 people what love is, you're probably going to get 10 different responses. Is love a romantic thing? Is it something that we fall in or out of? In 1 Corinthians 13, Paul shares with us a list of 15 things that are characteristics of Christian love. In this particular passage, we find two things that love is and then three things that love is not. First, love is patient and kind. This word for patience is long-suffering. It's long-fused. It's somebody that's not just sitting in traffic, but somebody sitting in traffic who's patiently getting cut off. This word for kindness isn't just somebody who's acting in love towards somebody else that's kind back towards them, but actually somebody who's reacting in love and kindness towards somebody who's not easy to love. Then three things that love is not. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. With envy, the focus is on somebody else and what they have and what you wish you had. With boasting, the focus is on yourself and something you think other people think that they should have. Uh, area, this word for arrogance is somebody that's puffed up, somebody that's prideful, that focuses on themselves. And that's the common denominator of all these three things, self-love. And yet Paul is saying that we cannot put the self at the center of love. I've got some bad news and some good news. The bad news is that we are not naturally good at showing this 1 Corinthians kind of love. The good news is that Jesus is. Jesus is patient. Jesus is kind. Fruit of the Spirit is love, it's patience, it's kindness. And so as we learn to abide in Jesus, he in turn shapes us to be a people of love, a people of kindness, a people of patience.